My name is Brian Naftel with Keystone Plastics and welcome to everything you need to know about street sweeping brushes. Today we're talking about wafers. Wafers are individual sections stacked together to make a complete brush. This is our most cost effective and compact, easiest shipping way of making a complete brush. Wafers have been called many things in the, over times. They're called cores, they're called wafers, they're called whiskers, they're called uh, lots of rings, discs, but these are what we call wafer cores. There's three different types of material fills to talk about. There's the different IDs and ODs to talk about and what type of shaped ring they would like, a flat or a convoluted. Poly is the most popular and common wafer option. The bristle that Keystone makes has the highest level of flick, rigidity, stiffness, and longest life in the industry. This is an all wire wafer. The wire ends at a very aggressive cutting action to your sweeping needs. If you have mud on roads, if you're cleaning millings and you wanna really dig out this will help you with your cutting action and does promote life. This is a product that we add with poly and wire, poly and wire. That is one poly and one wire and one poly and one wire in your stack. The third option we have is a combo wafer. Half poly, half wire. We combine the best of the poly and the wire into one ring for ease of inventory and installation, you just need to have one box. This is a very aggressive, long-lasting product that you'll be very happy to use on your job site. We also have the different types of IDs. This is a convoluted or spacerless ID. In this wave, the highs hit the lows and the highs hit the lows and self-spaces the wafer as you build it. For a convoluted wafer that has two pins, this straddles the wafer rack. So let's load one here. Goes on like this, straddled, and then down. The next one moves to the next bar. Straddle, and then down. That is how we load a convoluted wafer. This is a flat wafer. This will require a spacer. So it'll be wafer spacer, and that will give you your spacing on the brush. It does not matter how you put it on, just don't load one bar with all the pins. Stagger it a little bit. And that's how we load the rack. Wafers are very versatile. You can choose to stack the ends with more wafers and spread them out in the middle. You can make your brush the way it works for you. Also, on flat wafers, spacers are packaged separately and sold separately. The reason why they're packaged and sold separately is because they're reusable time and time again. I hope you learned a little something about wafers today. If you have any further questions, please call us and contact our customer service people. They're very knowledgeable about our products.